everyone, I'm Michelle from A Common Life and today I am participating in the Organized Spaces Collab. This was started by Davey Kay and I am pretty new to her channel. I've only been watching it for a couple of months now, but I love it. She does thrifting and finds really great bargains and then makes these beautiful home decor pieces for her home. And so I would highly recommend checking her out. I will have her channel linked to down below. And there are lots of other YouTubers who are participating in this collab. So I will have the playlist linked to down below as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. You may have seen in a video that I posted several months ago that I had already organized my homeschool closet. And since then I have reorganized it. I did that because I found an entire box of homeschool supplies that I didn't even know I had. And I also purchased some new curriculum for the homeschool year, for the upcoming homeschool year. So I had to find a place to put all of these things. I also shared a video about our bookshark curriculum and how I organized that. And I went ahead and reorganized that one again. So now I have one place for all of our homeschool curriculum that takes up one shelf in our pantry. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the shelf that I have set up in our pantry with all of our homeschool books for the upcoming school year. As you can see down there at the bottom, we have a lot of our games and then over here is all of my bookshark stuff. And then everything else is all of the curriculum that we have on hand. Now, we are not gonna be using all of this stuff in the upcoming school year, but many of these things we will be using. The things that we're not using are things that I'm not ready to get rid of yet because I know I will be using them with my younger children when they get into the third and fourth grade years. Now, all of these magazine holders I got at the Dollar Tree. They don't match perfectly, but they coordinate, and I love these bright colors. And then I just took my little label maker and I labeled everything. So going from left to right, I have books that we're actually using in the upcoming school year right here that are gonna go in their work boxes. Then I have history and geography, literature, Latin, first language lessons level two. We are currently working on level one right now, but we will start working on that probably about halfway through the school year. Writing with ease. Then if we move along, we have writing and spelling, handwriting, science, faith, art, character study, and workbooks. And then at the very end of the shelf, we have all of our bookshark stuff. The subjects over here in this section are the things that we kind of pick and choose from every year. So I have a folder here all about faith, things to do with the Bible and church history and things like that. Art is another one where we kind of pick and choose which books we're going to use each year. Character study is something that I am planning on doing with my younger children in the upcoming year. I've already done this with my older children. And then workbooks is just a folder here of different workbooks that I have gotten a lot of these for free over the years. And so I just keep them in here. So since I know we can use them, I kept them. But this is the only folder I have of things that I may or may not use. And last but not least, at the very end of the shelf here is all of our Bookshark stuff. And I put this by the door that goes out to our homeschool room because I know this is gonna be the bin that I am grabbing from the most. So here's where all of our lessons go. Here is our map. And then in the bin right here, I have gone ahead and organized it so that the books at the very front of the bin are the books that we're going to be using at the beginning of the year. And so we can basically work our way through the bin as we go through all of our lessons. And then we have our map as well because in our classroom we don't really have any wall space, it's all windows. And so we will just use the map and then we'll just put it right back here on the shelf. So here's a quick look at the shelf as it looks right now. I'm hoping to keep everything organized like this for the rest of the school year. And I'm planning on doing a new video soon of our homeschool room, so be looking for that. But you can go ahead and look at the old video from several months ago, which I will have linked to up above. A big thanks to Davy Kay for hosting the Organized Spaces collab. Make sure that you check out the playlist down below and have a great day. Mm -hmm.